The Always Smiling Faces podcast is now sponsored by Tire Spot, the Northeast's leading tire supplier with branches across the region. Tire Spot don't just do tires, they cover everything from servicing to wheel alignment. They can handle every aspect of your car's maintenance. For more information, visit tirespot.co.uk. Enjoy the episode. Hi everybody, welcome back to the All With Smile and Face podcast on the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. We are back with your Monday night live show. I am your host Chris, joined by Bestie, Mark and Decker. Um, do, do you just want to touch on anything before we we'll, we'll start talking about what happened against Manchester City? Did, have you got any sort of topics that you want to like to discuss? Well, Doesn't even have to be Newcastle United. I was expecting yeah. that there. That sounds like you were something lined up. That, no, that no, sounds like you're, no, you're expecting something. I don't, I don't at all. No? Can we talk about where pizza is tonight? I'm a bit disappointed. I'm not. I'm really full. I'm, 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 I'm coming to expect well. to have one every week now. It was lush, Alec. Yeah, no, we'll have no pizza tonight. Um, but yeah, we have just recorded a video before we have gone live there. Uh, it is the return of Mark versus Decker. Which, which is a good one this week, boys, isn't it? Mm. I loved it, me. It was good. It's good crack, yeah. It wasn't as good as Fifty Shades of Magpie. No, that was a classic. We'll bring that back one day. One day. Um, right, let, let's... You may, get, so... you may get booted off these days for stuff like that, you know. <laughs> you might. You might, to be Times fair. have changed. Like. Um, right, let's... You know, what is He's got nothing to talk about, so let's talk about Newcastle United Football Club. Really boring. We'll have to talk about that as well. <laughs> we do have to talk about This is what we are here for. Um... Uh, we knew about half an hour before the team news was released, Bestie, that Eddie Howe was going to go five at the back. Mm -hmm. And Eddie had. Um, personally, I thought that was a correct decision going up against Manchester City because we know how dangerous they can be in attack and we know how <laughs> how how pitiful we've been in defence. I think it's probably a good way of dealing with Haaland, isn't it? Because he's a kind of bloke that can get through you and... It... You're kind of protected because you've got three in the middle, so any crossing in the box is going to likely to be dealt with by one of um, who are the three central defenders on the, on the night, Shea, Botman, um, and, 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 and Jamal. 250th game for the cells, yes, congratulations. Yeah, it's excellent. Captain, like, Jamal. I, honestly, when he, he signed that foot, I thought he's like he'd do like a 25, like so he's and he's a, a loyal, a good servant. Well done, Jamal. Um, but I, I, I don't know if five was the right. I mean, it's easy to say after the event. You know, we got pretty handsomely beaten, like. But with having five at the back, you lose someone in the middle of the park. So, you, I saw one of the big criticisms of Newcastle over the weekend, and when you look at the other matches, like Coventry beat uh, Wolves three two in Molyneux. Leicester came close against Chelsea. Liverpool, Man United was a brilliant game yesterday. Yeah, all great. And we just kind of rolled over a bit for Man City. Um, I think we're a little bit scared, to be honest with you, but that's what we'll going on about later no doubt. I, I think if you're going to, you're kind of accepting by playing five at the back that they're going to have more all the ball. And by doing that, you're kind of almost you're inviting on in, you. insisting that they have the ball, you know. Um, I think that was probably the game plan, though, based on... The Wolves game. What, on the Wolves game, yeah. yeah if, if you expect them to have a lot of the ball and, and push up in numbers on you, and by having five at the back, it allows you to to absorb some of that. Got and pace then, on the flanks in Burnham. Well, like, so. Yeah, yeah. The, well, <laughs> yeah, that marauding <laughs> left back does like to get, get up there. But yeah, it was, to me, that was it. In, invite them in. Even seeing from like goal kicks and stuff like that. Yeah. Draw them in and then try and hit them on the break. And we did on a couple of, of occasions, but didn't really come to anything. Do you know what? I don't think it was awful. No. I thought it was... It we was terrible. It was... It, it, I thought both goals were really lucky. But that... Being said, it was a two nil game. It was like they were two goals better than us, clearly. But well, I don't think Newcastle were terrible. They just didn't, like I say, they're playing as if they're scared at the minute, as if they're worried they're going to make a mistake. And they didn't really have that last season for me. I think, Dick, I'll come to you out. I think there's a difference between being terrible and just not turning up. And I think that's what happened with, with us. Like two shots, oh, I think two harsh, shots right? at goal, yeah, and 90, two shots at goal in 90 minutes of football. That's embarrassing, no matter who you're against. Well, it it is. I think to go back on the the lineup for a second. So five five at the back. I think I absolutely agreed with, and I wanted would to, you know, I wanted would to do that in certain games Pre previously. I think the problem you've got 
it's not just about going five at the back. When you play against Man City away, it can very quickly become ten at the back. Without without you wanting it to be that way, it just happens because yeah. they're that damn good. So you you have all these intentions. Like I was saying, some people after oh, we should just be playing four at the back. Believe me, it wouldn't end at four at the back very quickly. You'd be you'd be ten at the back because it's just it's just the way it goes. Now I thought, to be fair, I was a big fan of the setup because I thought we still had three in midfield, so I didn't feel like that changed much. And the plan was to have two fast guys up front in Gordon and Isak. Mm-hmm. So you had five, you were basically playing five three two. That's how I how yeah. my my eyes looked at it. So I thought, okay. You're stronger centre half, so right? you've got a stronger centre half sort of uh, at the back. Your three in midfield hasn't changed, it never changes. It's the same three. And the two up front can then, rather than having Isak isolated on his own up front, having Gordon alongside him, we might be able to hurt them. Well, that was how I that. felt. Oh, I was, I was shocked, yeah. But I thought, I actually thought it could really work. I, I honestly, I was, I was quite pleased with the setup of the team. But now to reference what Bessie said about scared, I thought they looked scared in the tunnel, and I mean that honestly. Would, would would just would didn't look right at all to be honest with you yeah. and I felt that and you see that in moments in the game where when we were even in the moments where we did impose ourselves a little bit we almost look scared and frantic that Jesus we, we've got a chance to score here almost panicking that yeah, oh, yeah, we yeah, could yeah. score here bang fluffed it I just the lack of composure and a bit of a bit of self belief I, I I felt it was gone. I thought like. Isaac and Willock were both guilty of that. 100%, really, really, 100%, just that yeah. composure. I mean, a bad. That's not to say I think about players. It was just on this instance. And the, the other problem that I was going to reference, and this happens a lot, right? Without not just us, but all teams. When you play five at the back, or when you are hard to beat and tuck in and be hard to beat, everyone sits off the ball, and the, the goals came from sitting off the ball. Mm. You're all. I'm all for getting into a good shape, right? But you've still got to be able to press who's on the ball. And I just found we got deeper and deeper and deeper to the point where. We thought, oh, we're, we're really tight here. No, no one will get past her. The, the pass, me and Marx has watched about again. The pass for the first goal, the guy's wide open. He's on the edge of our box. Yeah. And he's wide open. We've got 10 players in front of him. That's where you've got to be. I think you've got to try and find the balance of, yes, being tight and hard to beat, but also you've got to be aggressive and pressing the right moment. I, and think, it's, I think it's Willick who's a little bit slow to get over, 100%. isn't it? Yeah, Memory yeah, serves. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he starts out on the, well, I'm saying out on the left. He wasn't really out on the left, but he starts certainly more to the left. And then Holland just makes a very clever move, which, you know, kudos to him because it, it's good. He just kind of drops into a little little space in front of the defenders, which then Willick sees that out of the corner of his eye and gets drawn towards Holland. Mm-hmm. And then Holland very immediately just goes back to where he came from. But then that's just taken Willick completely out of position and left the free free pass. But to, to that Decker's point of having three in, in midfield, it meant that we were very, very narrow. Yeah. Like across, we, we we had nothing kind of out wide. Whereas normally you would see Gordon tucking back in on the left hand side, Miggy into the right, or whoever whoever's playing there. But because we had that three, it just really narrowed the the center of the pitch in in, in front and it left probably like it was the whole game more or less. Dan Byrne was constantly against Walker and um, your, your man who scored Bernardo. Um, Bernardo Silva. Silva. Yeah, it's, tough. it's just a tough night. So as soon as that first comes, or bestie, the first goal comes and finds its way in the back of the net with, with a huge deflection, nobody's disagreeing, and, and oh, just a horrible goal to concede. Your game plan's kind of out the window at that point, isn't it? When you fire out the back and struggling to get out your own half. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we didn't. For all, I don't think we played terribly. We didn't really see much of the ball at all. Um, whenever the little kind of a stat came up with last fifteen minutes possession, whatever, it was always like. At seventy thirty was a good run for us, hmm. you know. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, terribly unlucky with the way both goals happened. Really, in, in the actual action itself, I thought Burn was terribly unfortunate. And Botman, I, I was watching it with um, me, my wife, my sister, and all. My sister was like trying to get her head around why he's done that. I'm like, oh, he's trying to get his head on it to block it and all that. But why is he just doing? It? I said, well, he's not doing it on purpose to speed up, which is coming all that. And it's just bad luck. The fact that the has kind of read it as early as he has. And it goes under his feet almost, which is strange. But it's you know, it's, I don't think you can apportion any blame to him for either of the goals. I think he played pretty well for the most part. Do you know? I think um, it comes back to it again though of just that that lack of communication that we seem to have at the the back at the minute. Well, he was fuming with the second one. The Bravka was having a right pop it. I'm assuming Botman because it was him, or, the, or maybe just for it allowing him to get the shot off. Yeah, because that's the yeah, thing you, you said both. when you're not closing them down. And for the first goal, you can see I think it's Willick who's coming across. He's got that bit of space. Burn is on the half turn because he's looking for the ball down the line. So he's like, Dan Burn, that's how, that's how the goal happens. Burn's sideways on me because he's thinking, well, I can't. If I stand face on here, he's passes on the left-hand side. So mm-hmm. he's done that. He's had a shot and it's obviously not in, isn't it? 
It's that's exactly why the broth is kicking off, and it goes back to to what I was saying before of that. Everyone's just sitting off the ball. Bob yeah. standing like it's a free kick, man. If All you right. watch that back, he stands. It's like he's like he's, he's like he's the wall. Like this is an open play, lads. Like yeah. I, I just found that the amount of time we give them on the ball, and um, the the burn one, it was it was something that often would happen to Shea. Where I'm not I'm not blaming Burn, but he'll be. I know he's motion to go somewhere else, but it's just that sort of leg out that yeah. takes it. Now, obviously, if he didn't put a leg out, people would be saying, "Well, come on, make an effort." Do you know what yeah. I mean? I know it's a difficult one. I get that. I'm not blaming him, but but that's why Dubravka's kicked. Out. I mean, Botman, that's horrific for, in my opinion. That's awful, like what he did there. Really poor defending. But I think, and the thing is, when when Mark says with how Harlan's movement took, will it go away? It was it for half a second, and in that hot, and that's the, all they need. Man City, they're that good, but um. Do you think Botman's trying to get more on that than what he actually managed to get ahead of the ball? Yeah. Um, it glances, doesn't it? It's yeah. slight as a touch. I, it's think weird. I think he's trying to physically head it away. Yeah. But yeah. I think maybe the bend of the ball itself is just, it's made just it more glance. of a glance. Go a bit quickly at him. It's, yeah. it's hard to say, really. I mean, haven't seen it in slow motion. You kind of change, your mind changes again, which it shouldn't do because yeah, that's, that's not how it happens. But yeah. yeah, I think he's just trying to get anything on it. Tim's burn. I think he's just trying to get something on it and what he's got on it, unfortunately. It's a funny been. one for me because from that range, right? Honest to God, I would move out. Oh, he's, he's going to go with his free kicks no, here again and his walls, isn't he? I, if, I, if I if I if I was standing there like an absolute idiot, like Botman was, right, with my hands behind my back, and he shoots, I honestly feel if that beats your goalkeeper, your brain like that, you cannot be letting that in. You cannot. Man. There was near power in it at all. So you're talking if just, just if the ball doesn't hit Botman and the keeper doesn't oh, save that, yes. then the fault is on, on absolutely. On the so, yeah, so there's a few times where I would, if I was the defender, I would say, well, I'll just let that one go because the keeper will have that all night long. And if he mm. doesn't, well, we're going to see serious issue behind one. Um, but it's, it's in hindsight, it's listen. If Botman had cleared that one away, right, he went for a corner. People would say, oh, it was good defending that. He stopped yeah. the shot. So it's it's so I get I get it right. I get I get it's the, the, the margins and it it it's, it's, it's such fine. a fine, very very fine. And against Man City, because of that good, I mean, you, you can't see, you can't admit a gear for you can't say, oh, well, Pinal was meant to pay off Botman's head or. Of course, of course. Um, Burns die, but they get it in their positions and the kind of it's the percentages and all that, and it's what Sam yeah. is kind of. It, but it, it shows you something when it, when a player is embarrassed to celebrate the goal that was scored, though. Uh, oh, twice second. Well, if he yeah. picks up that ball, cuts inside, and, and bends <coughs> one into the top corner, everybody's like, you know, standing and uh, applauding at that because it's you know a wonderful finish. But it's just always something really spawny and annoying about when it just comes up. Of a leg loops up and over, isn't it? Frank it's, Lampard made a career of that, didn't he? Still you've still it. got to get into them positions and hit it. Press, yeah. the, shoot, press yeah. the press the guy on that ball. That's what you've got to do. You've got to stop them from shooting. You can't just sit back and go, oh, we'll have a go then. You can't, yeah. man. You've got to stop the, the, the shot. And to be really honest, though, to be fair, right? And I will can say it was two own goals and blah, 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 blah. Listen, <laughs> they, them could have turned it up at any moment them wanted. Yeah. They, they were playing more like a fiddle, man. Like it was at times they were just horrendous. It was horrendous to watch at times because I reckon if Isak had a scored the two opportunities he had, then would have just turned it up and just yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've thought that as well. At least I was listening to Sheer on his podcast earlier saying that was that two unlucky goals and all that. If they hadn't scored those two goals, the game doesn't play out the way it plays. Nah. They have more the more the ball again, they play the more ball and they just cause more bother. Yeah. So I, I think, as I say, there was two fortunate goals, but the result I don't think there's anyone can say it wasn't fair. Which everybody kind of expected before we even kicked the ball in yeah. the game. You know, you, you, you're you expecting to, a lot of people are expecting to go down there and just and, and lose. But you, Chris, is to your point, you're expecting the team to, to go and have a good go. We've used, well, sorry, we've used the phrase lay a glove on, on teams plenty of times on podcasts. Mm. And, and that game just summed up yes, we know there's a huge gulf in, in talent between the two teams at the moment massive uh, and that's that gets showcased every single time when that we play Manchester City obviously the odd occasions where, where we've gone toe to toe with them but like you said Mark all they need to do is just switch it then then it changes completely once again I just I was never confident at, throughout out that game at any point we would score a goal and we had a couple of opportunities I said that earlier on we had two shots on goal which is embarrassing one of those was on target. That was a good save, that one, mind. It was a great save. It really was. But then there's, there's still opportunities. Like yeah. There is opportunities in the game where we're getting decent positions. And and like Bestie said, we're scared to have a shot. Well, there was well, a great one where Isaac just... gets the ball and he plays it out to, to Dan Byrne. Then Dan Byrne just gets confused as to what he's doing there at that point. So then he tries yeah. to play it back to Isaac. And at that point, it's gone. Isaac, I, I thought he had a poor game. I really did. I thought yeah, everything I thought he that. touched, he lost the ball on his feet every single time. That's probably not 
getting the ball very often. Um, and, and it was so frustrating that we were getting in those moments. And when you're playing a team like Manchester City, you have to be top of your game. If you're not, they will punish you without even trying, as we saw. Yeah, you're you're right. And like again, when you, when we've came up against them at home and stuff like that, you've got the backing of the crowd and that kind of thing, and you know a bit more encouragement there. And I don't know whether that they just have more confidence at playing at home because we have been a lot better. But down down there, we had a backing of a, a lot of a lot of fans down. Fans were fantastic all through really through the yeah, game. Yeah, um, never stopped like the the entire time. So, but kind of really driving them them on. But there the just wasn't a response there. And like I know, like you were talking about the the, the five at the back, and I, I I really don't understand why we've done it because in the times that we've came up against them, we've we've gone with four at the back and we've handled Holland's done nothing. Nothing against us that, in, in the games that he's played. Score that one, I think it's in James's the three three draw. That last landed in front of him. Yeah. But the rest of the time, he couldn't, I, I, he couldn't Lissell's, miss that one. Lissell's Lissell's had Lissell's yeah. Twice in the league yeah, down I, there. I, I'm not disagreeing with that, but let's let's be very fair. The, we took them, we were taking them on in a, in a completely different scenario of what we were. Like we on half the team we were at their moments. And Trippy, I was on them days while Joe Linton on. While the team was the team was 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 unrecognizable from a playing standpoint and personnel. Did you I, I don't think you can... Sorry, Dick, go on, go on. I, was, no, sorry, I, I, I don't know, maybe, but the, the times where... I, I'm not disagreeing here, even the 3-3, three, three, I mean, Holland did score, like, but and Pope saved the world, but... I'm Confidence not, was high, wasn't I, it? Yeah, it was, we're a different team, man. We're, di- we're different. I think if we go there, we're four at the back. I mean, all right, well, let's I, see I, I, think, I think he he was worried about the game earlier on where Gordon was unbelievable. On that on that right hand side for them, and he caused what all sorts of of trouble dropping into little spaces and gaps, and Is that he, the he ran the that, start of the that season? Short, yeah. yeah, he ran the entire show for them. Him and Walker were playing down there, right? I day. just think has he has he had half an eye on on that and thought, well, I don't want that situation to happen again. You just made the point there about Trippier. How much has his Livermento not been available? Available. Impacted, yeah. you know what we've yeah, we've got to do. But you know, apparently, the new he was going to be out. Well, well before the game, but well, I th- I, to, it to, was kept very, very quiet. If that was the case, I think the frustrating thing, though, Dagger, is, is that when you, you you get the ball in these sort of games, you have to be clever with the ball. You've got to keep the ball. You've got to move it up the field. I, I want to give credit to Jacob Murphy to a certain degree because he had the ball. He was playing right wing back, and he had the ball at one point. And he tried his hardest. He was getting chased down. And he, he was dropping his shoulder and trying to get past the player. Done it really well and laid it off to Lascelles. What does Lascelles do? Just hit it as hard as he can up the field. And you think, well, that ball's gone again. We're going to have to do it all again. Yeah, well, that, that's the sign of the old days of, mm-hmm. of, of Bruce Ball almost, that you've got players that you've got to be, you have to be very brave in possession. It's easier said than done, mine. Yeah, I'm not saying it's easy, but you have to be confident and brave enough on the ball to keep the ball because we know against teams like this, as soon as you lump it forward, it's just coming back. It's just coming back at you. To be referenced, Murphy, I thought Murphy did quite well, to be honest. Like he put a shift in, some of his balls were dead dangerous. Uh, there was one. There was a couple he put in. Oh, that first one frees that man. Yeah, it's an early cross he does. It's just a very he's, really, he's, really early. I mean, the goal was scored against Wolves a few weeks ago. It's to say, you know, he can really put a ball in. I have yeah. to give him credit there. Uh, he put a ball. He put the ball over for Burn to headed back for Isak's chance. He was involved in some of the brighter moments. You can't deny that. Um, but again, it's it's just collectively as a team. I, I said I've said this for weeks. Like I've said it for weeks. I just find we're too passive. I just, I just find that teams are... Christ, we're playing five at the back, right? We're three in midfield. Come on, yeah. The six players in the centre, technically, right? Mm-hmm. Technically, right? The, the midfield mid- for me was absolutely And my absolutely God, there was just one pass oh, and they're, they're almost carving through yeah. it. And I used, to, I used to say this when and Bruce used to play five at the back. You've got so many players defensively, but somehow teams are just cutting through it. And I haven't got the answer for that. I haven't, but I'm just saying it's surprising that you're playing five at the back with three in centre midfield, and they are ripping you apart mm-hmm. with one, one or two passes. That's 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 really worrying for me. Like, but again, with when you're saying there about like I'm not having anybody to pass to, that comes from how poor the midfield were at the weekend. Because when the ball and it, and it wasn't just this weekend, because we've seen it in a number of games, when the ball goes into midfield, we're just not keeping hold of it. Yep. We're not able to then find another pass, find your man, and. and and move it on, and we certainly couldn't carry the ball through midfield. You, you want Bruno you tried, didn't he? Bless he, did, he did, he did. He did. But the the what the the one man that tends to drive you forward through the middle of the park is Willick, and every time he tried to do that, it was like hitting a brick brick wall in midfield with with what he was coming up against. Yeah. And like we just 
we couldn't seem to to get get anywhere well, with the ball, one, the which, one is where which you haven't mentioned it, it. And, and Bessie, I'll come to you because it's a huge talking point at the moment. The spotlight, as always, it's always shining on Newcastle United play in a bad light. It's gone from Dan Burn and it's now focused on Sean Longstaff. Yeah. He, yes, I know he hasn't been great. He, far from it in the last handful of games. Clearly, he's playing with an injury. Um, he's got a foot complaint, doesn't he? Apparently, this is mm. the yeah. So he's like tall. <laughs> he's 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 playing through an injury, and it's clear for everybody to see. What what's the way around that? Because anyhow, he does have. You can look at Miley, um, but that could come in there. You do have a, a couple of options at best. What, what what's happening, long staff? I think it's obviously he is injured, isn't he? That would seem to be the case. And he, on top of that, he's. I was reading the thing. I think might be an athletic it's a about, shot about facts, a month then. ago. Uh, he'd missed something like twenty minutes of football from October till, let's say, the start of February. And you've got that run in December where we played eleven and thirty-one days, whatever that was. So he's played a load of football. He's played a massive amount of games in the middle of the park, Huge chasing problem. the game a lot of the time. He, and he is normally the player that that yeah covers the most plays grass in, in a game. He is, and I, I think he's it's just taking his toll. I think he needs a rest. For me, um, Longstaff's one of those ones where because you don't see him on the ball a great deal, a lot of his stuff's kind of that's such a one everything to say. It's what he doesn't do on the ball that you kind of you don't notice much. Like he's, he always just seems to pop up in the right position when he uh, when he's in form. He's someone who kind of he breaks the play up a lot just by being in the way. He might not. He doesn't put those tack- tackles in necessarily. He's not one who like, like Bruno who'll pass the ball around or like Tonali, theoretically would be. But he's just there. His position's really, really good. He puts a lot of miles in. And then when he just when he's bad on the ball, that's all people see him do. Oh, he's lost it again. He's mm. shit. Um, and that long stuff's not shit at all for me. Like, but he, he's desperate for a rest. And the only rest does he get the rest? Him... Does, does he get the rest, or, or do you, you give it this international break now? Well, see what the next game's like for him. They make your mind up. Who we got this weekend? It's you can't the, arrest him though. Who do you bring in? The Miley's Anderson, the only one. Miley Anderson's fit again but now. They're as not. Well. They're not. They're not the same type of player. They won't do the job that that long stuff's in there but to do. But then, do you look back at Eddie Howe and think you need to change things up a little bit? It, it, hang on. Uh, sorry, I have to say something. How surely long stuff's not even fit, man? How how you're surely Miley's better option than him. You want when Longstaff's he's played not... Miley at 100 games a season. I'm saying Longstaff's desperate for a rest. Jesus. And the only way to get him playing back to what he was early this season, last season, would be to rest him. Then you've got to make that call. You've got to say, right. I'm, I've, I've, we've seen Miley play, right? And, and when Longstaff's been on the field as well, and we've sat here and went, Miley was by far the best midfielder of the day. The, the guy can use both feet. He's clever on the ball. He's played in number six at times. I know he's only young. He can put his foot in. He can still read a game. Like, Christ almighty, like. A half fit long, yeah, but I'd, bring, I'd much rather have Miley. If you bring him in, you're gonna have to push him push him much fo- further forward and have that's it's always like leave, that though. Leave, leave Bruno sitting as it's a six. Always like that. It. No, but, but Bruno, Bruno, Bruno will do that pushing forward, won't he? Which then leaves that gap in behind, which so the you... staff will drop into cover. Uh. Whereas if you're gonna have Willick and Miley, might be kind of drop. I, in, in, in I almost, six. I almost think. Well, we've tried. We have done it though this season a few times. We have, and that worked out well, didn't it? I honestly think at times it's like playing with ten men with him on the field, long stuff. That's how I feel recently. It's like with ten men. That, he, that he, has been great. coming his way. But do, do you honest? not just think that? See, for me, it's Willick, Willick, and Miley are too similar. They're more of a an attacking positioned midfield, like playing in, playing that little bit further forward than. And Longstaff does that. He likes to get up and get onto that right hand side. The, the, be, the best moments when we talk about Longstaff is bursting in that Longstaff role of the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, listen, I'm Which not. Miley will do that. Miley will do that all day. Of course he will. I honestly think that Miley can come in and do well. What Longstaff is doing at the moment, at the moment, do you think Miley can be better than that? Hundred percent. He has to be, man. If he hasn't, we'll get rid of him. Then it depends on the opposition. Why? Why, why no does it depend way. on the opposition? No, I think it depends on, on who, who you're coming up against in well, the field, how you're playing, how just, you're going to go against. Uh, just to clarify, so, so a half fit long stuff, the option against Man City, the best team in, on the globe, that. on the planet, you know, I'm going to play a half fit player. That's that the option because right? the best option, we have. because what he's looking at is well, he'll sit in there and then make one more solid in midfield. Well, that looked like it. <laughs> well, it did. Uh, it did. did. You've just said the midfield was shite. You've just said it before. The midfield were well, terrible. They, they didn't there. create anything. They didn't do anything. They but, didn't defend either. The they couldn't man. They did on that right hand side. The left hand side, uh, not so much. Rubbish. Rubbish. Longstaff, <laughs> out the team, man. Out the, get him out. Get him out. 
and listen, I, and I, well, what, we've been sitting here for weeks saying, oh, Bailey looks knackered. He needs a rest. And he's had a rest. He's, he's had a rest. rest. All the best, long stuff. He's no had two games. Injury. Go away. Like two game fine. rest. Oh, that would make everything all better, won't it? Two game rest better than no rest at all. It's better than 100%. being an injured show long stuff, I think. Exactly. I'll, I'll, That's what I mean. That's what I'm I'll, trying I'll, to I'll, I'll give my now you have got that little bit, and I know they're not all the same position. I was sent midfield, but the play around, but you can you can play Anderson, you can play Willick, you can play Miley, mm-hmm. and Bruno can operate as number six. I'd rather uh, I'd, it's not where I want Bruno to play long time, you no know, long term, but he can play behind the other two, 100 and kind of that, that's a frustrating thing. Best you're seeing <laughs> you're seeing Bruno <laughs> grafting his horse off at the minute, and you yeah. can tell at the end of games he is. Physically and mentally drained because he's having to carry that midfield. Yeah, he is. Oh, I, he, mo- he I, must be devastated. Yeah, and Willick can. I remember Willick when he was him and Joe Linton were doing a dovetaily bit. He would sit a bit deep and he would help Dan Burn out last season. Or the, the, yeah, that's different. Right, now on now on go, going out of the left hand side and covering, then it is dropping back. No, no. I'm saying this is when Joe Linton was playing further forward and Willick was sitting behind. So you got Joe Linton on the left left wing. You yeah. want to call it that? And Willick was playing a, in a deeper role, but a deeper role in which he's operating. Not as number six, but he's playing deeper than. Nah, he's playing in that in inside left midfield channel, isn't he? I I, I think in terms of Bruno, where he's pretty much is where he's playing now. Yeah, Br- Bruno, is, whether we like it or not, has been more of the holding player out of any option we've had. He's been every player. Yeah, he put, what I'm saying I, I, is I know when he, he I know drives, it, I, when he know, drives but... forward, which he has to do more and more of. So you're telling me that Miley or Willick's not intelligent enough to drop in if he drives forward? Hundred percent not. Will Willick and Miley aren't disciplined enough to do that. Oh, I think you're wrong there, Mark. I, I, I don't. I, you have I to haven't be, seen. I don't it. think it's that game. It's I not a natural it. game. But I, to say that, but I haven't got the intelligence to do it. A little no, bit. I've seen the discipline. discipline I've got the it. discipline to do it. I think that's wider the mark. No, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know what Longstaff's doing. I, I'm sorry, I do. He just pisses me off. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what, what he's, he's doing. doing. Honestly, that's that is what he's doing. Every, Keep him on every game. Do you know when he gets the ball right? It's like you know when uh, it's like when Andy walks in the room, Woody just files our. That's what he's like when he gets the ball as well. He is doing e- that a lot. Every he's, time he he's, gets the ball, he's man, terrible at trying to win for the kids. Trying trying isn't it though? I love. Uh, do you know what it is? You're not going to get this on any other podcast where you've just confer- <laughs> got, like try to <laughs> compare one of our players. <laughs> what do you have to do? What it is, is like when Andy walks in the room, it's, 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 it's horrendous. As soon as a player he, he loves can't. to grab the ball as he goes down, it's just it? awful. Like but Bruno gave a free kick away, didn't he? We can do it. I get I don't even think Longstaff's dad wants him well. in the team at the moment. And I mean without the greatest respects. And listen, you can you can bang away and say Longstaff like oh amazing, like um Craig Hope did it. I said it the other day. My God, it's unbelievable. I was watching his thing and he said, This is what he said, you know. And to be fair to him, you'll not be watching, like, but to be fair to him, he did he say did someone it. will be throwing some again here. But he said about long time, he went, Well, he's really good to interview. That was almost that was his sort of tagline of don't give him any grief because it's really good to interview. We're, we're trying to compete here, man, for European football. That's like you were. Matthew. I didn't care how oh, you did on Twitter and TikTok. No, I never said that. I said that would end a disaster. Mate, um, sh- we should mention that that was Man City's oh, yeah. 38th game unbeaten at home. Oh, right, listen, consecutively. No, there is that. This, this is uh, what, I mean, that's what that, still. I mean, it wasn't brilliant, but I did want to reference something before a while ago. I did honestly, I did. Was this? Re- it's not the result necessarily, right? But the problem for me is the performances never seem to change. So I'm not bothered that we've lost our man. See, Christ, we watched the we had the pizza night here, and I said we'd get, before the end of the show, didn't I? I was saying you were going, oh, well, you've got to support the team, blah blah. And you would get beat on Saturday. It's not necessarily the Saturday performance. What's Saturday one? Saturday night. Right. Saturday night so yeah. it was not necessarily the Saturday performance that's pissing us off and got us our whiny. It's long stuff. What? That, well, long. Goodness gracious. Um, honestly, I don't think he'd get an eleven side team on a Sunday at the minute. But anyway. But it's it's every single week that I'm watching where it's the same mistakes, passive, not aggressive, not pressing well, losing the ball cheaply in midfield. It's just the same all the time. We we'll beat Wolves and we were dreadful. Honestly, I thought we were I poor thought against we were Wolves. Like I thought we were awful. Um, I thought we were great, but we weren't dreadful. Not well, like overreacting, is it? No, nah, but well, tell us the last time we've played well. There's a massive argument now. I gotta give such chat right all the time. Every weekend, every weekend, the I don't get involved, right? And everyone's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> Thank but, God, no, I, no, I don't. Imagine how red you turn up. But there's a lot day. of times I'm thinking like, the just, soap, just uh, mute it and ignore it. No, 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 best thing I've on. ever T- done. Tell us, tell us what you think. There's just this. Uh, listen, you've got to support the team, right? And every, of course, I will, right? And I, I have no problems with put the banner on. I do not want Eddie Howe sacked or anything. <laughs> everything's fine. We're great. Everything's wonderful. Way, but, but. 
surely everyone can look and go, hang on, we're, we're, the performances are the same. And we've got more rest now. We're not playing two games a week. We haven't got European football. We've got players coming back. All this crap that I kept hearing before. And I'm not seeing any difference when I watch one on a weekend. My, my favourite thing from the weekend was... because because I was Blackburn! How bad was Blackburn? Was horrendous, man. How bad was that? Horrendous. My, my favourite thing from the weekend is, though, fans have been... <sighs> Right now. Fans have been sticking <laughs> up. For, fans have been sticking up for this and, and saying, "Well, we're expecting to lose more than two 0 That's not the point. This what was our chance to, to get another game um, at, at Wembley, trying to get that one step closer to reaching another cup final in um, in back to back years, and we didn't even try. That's a frustration. Well, I, I wow. can't say we well, didn't I had try. Boy, I I well, had two I shots. Say we didn't try. No, I get what I well, get. We had I, two shots. I do think the try. No, I, even I'm. Well, long time didn't. We did see that man. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. I'm joking. These are professional point? footballers. It's their job I've, to suggest uh, that they're don't not. Don't give us that go. either. No, no, I don't give us that. No, the going out there and not trying. We, we've is seen absolutely ridiculous. We've seen Newcastle like teams. We've seen Newcastle teams not trying before. I was going to say, yeah. and that wasn't Saturday for me. Well, like, it wasn't particularly good. It wasn't. Oh, it wasn't awful either. No, the, but it the, wasn't for that. They tried. The, it just wasn't re- good enough. The reason why I do think they are trying because how said it as well, right? That he's physically asking players. I need, I need you to play, right? Yeah. And that's why I, I, I know I've just bang, banged on you for half an hour about long stuff. If he's injured and he's still playing, absolute massive credit to you. But I will. I have to point the finger at how I tell him in the street if I've seen him. Why are you playing someone? That, this isn't messy here. Like this isn't a player who, like, if he's fifty percent, he's still a, you know, can make or break. But Bruno, for, let's go to Bruno. If he's if he's seventy percent fit, I want him on the field because I know he's good enough to unlock a defense. He drives the midfield. But if Longstaff's sixty or seventy percent fit, he might want to sit this one out, mate. Because at a hundred percent, I mean, I mean. But that's I mean, where you're going to beat Man City with 100% long stuff. That's where it then comes back to the, the, the discipline to be able to play in the role that, that he has and does how believe or trust that the players that he's got options to do that will do that role. But, but surely, like, and like, and like, I, and I what I'm saying, though, what I'm saying, surely they, they have to be better than an unfit or long stuff. They have, have to, to be. At least try it. Have to be, mate. Well, they came on for what 10 15 minutes at the end. I thought, who? And, right? And the right. No, no, but they, they came on for the last that, half hour. They came on like the 60 odd minute. They came on for half long hour. No, but I would, I, look I agree with Mark's point. Yeah, it's, 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 yes, it's yeah. different coming yeah. on and then. Yeah. You are going to look brighter. You are going to be able to run around more because you're up against people that have played for an hour, if that's how, how long Aye, it was. They didn't break a sweat. The Manchester City was like starting from the first whistle, man. They, they must have loved playing long stuff in the line against us. Honestly, they didn't. I cannot believe how, like, how much you downplay the fact that the, the, they, they didn't go break a sweat mark. They did not get out of first gear. Didn't at all. But that's a sign of how good they are. Ah, it's also a sign how poor we are, though, mate. It is. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when, when we know what we can be, them have to get out of first gear to beat us. Well, we're, we're proving we're, that. Played them in St. James's Park over the past, like the, yep. the, the three three last season, the league match this season, the league cup match, mm-hmm. particularly the second half of the league cup match this season. We've gone toe to toe with them, 100%. and we've. One one draw and one loss. What if that is that right? Lost the league game, didn't we? When the Bruyne came on and changed it. So mm-hmm. at, at home, now I'm not saying that we're as good as Man City when we play St James's Park, but the over the past 18 months, let's say two years, it's in James's Park. We've got a, a comparable record. We've got a good record against them. At the end, I had we don't score goals. We haven't scored a goal there since I would say was it? Uh, those two, do we not score two goals awesome. in one? Mitrovic scored. I know that. No, we'll, 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 no uh, maybe I'm thinking of the last game. Probably six one. <laughs> yeah, it might be that one. One, 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 one actually. I've scored, I've scored yeah. since Aaron's we came back. Soko, that one wasn't it? League Cup 2014. Nah, maybe, maybe not to be fair. So we haven't scored a goal at the, the Emirates in uh, sorry, yet. I had what the Emirates was until the other week yeah. for a long, long time. Like, and it's it's just weird. Unless you had one shot like, on target. One shot on target. Man City, you can't. one shot on target. You can't expect. I'm expecting more than two shots in the full game. When we played on goal against played, Man City, uh, two shots, man. All right, we'll mitigate that. When we played Arsenal, got beat 4 1. Our goal there was the first goal they conceded in however long there. We didn't play well in the slightest bit, but that's what te- the teams they, with uh, that level can do that and stifle you. 100%. I agree. Our teams weren't having shots on target at Arsenal. But, but maybe I'm just more frustrated from the team that, that we were last season compared to this then. Maybe that's the issue. Well, no, I, I definitely think that there's a there's a, a real. This is what I mean by this is what I, again I'm trying to not just focus on Saturday. I mean collectively as a as a, as more of a rounded picture, a bigger sample size. I do feel there is some kind of confidence issue. There's just 
We're not. Absolutely. We're just not the yeah. same team. Well, we look last year. The way they played last year when they went that run at the start of the season, drew loads of games. And the result at the end of it was the one that dictated whether that was games unbeaten or games out of win. And the one and the, the record that they had, the little blip after the World Cup, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, finished the season really well. And this season, they haven't had that run. And it shows. And then those the lost games, December was really damaging Everton um, away. Um, AC Milan getting knocked out with Champions League, the two Dortmund games, you could say. The late PSG goal, that penalty that they should never have had. At the park yeah. the prance, uh, yeah. I parked the prance. And then there's little things that have gone against him. Trip, you had that dip in form. The Chelsea game, the League Cup, we were seconds away from winning, end up going out on penalties, and then Chelsea got the final. Well, it was yeah, it was literally a minute or something like that before then the game yeah, was right there when yeah. Woodridge but, scored. But, uh, yeah, and well, again, we didn't touch the ball like for well, we didn't for ninety. But we did minutes. that. We did that times last season. I think the back the, yeah. the Forest game last season at City Ground, we were a goal down until right on half time, got an equaliser. It was a year ago today actually because I just got the I was at Swede in the City Hall. I got the the, the, the photos of my phone today. Um, and then the second half, we got the winner right at the end of the game. Again, it was a penalty, I think, right at the very end. And it, it's those little, we talking about margins earlier. And if me auntie had tits and all that. But if it was that one where Isaac scored that volley where he kind of hits it across him and it comes off his shin a bit and bounces in the corner. Yeah. Either of those things don't happen and very feasibly they couldn't have done. That's a 1-0 defeat the City ground without a great performance. The performances aren't as well as good as they were last season. But the little, it's just tiny little differences. Well, it will be at the top level. The top level, the, yeah. the, the, the margins are very slim, you know. But I think in terms, personally anyway, from recent memory, right, when I think of the games we've played, Villa away was as, was as, as probably as good as we've been. And even then, I thought we looked fragile when they got the one back. It was like, well, right, well, that's five maybe, back, it? But the, the, the Villa at that time were absolutely, you know, that, I don't think they lost at home and... God, I mean, well, again, everybody expected we'd go there and lose that game. Yeah, but I but they hadn't lost at home for it was a record number. You know, they hadn't lost a long for a long time. time. Yeah, and we tactically were absolutely spot on like, since before the beat with that season. It was, that um, was it? and and I just think that the performances and again, it's what identity I sat here so much last season, right, and said, "What identity is this?" And you you knew what you would get. Mm -hmm. I'm now thinking I know what I'll get in a negative way when I'm watching what I kind of know what's going to come I'm not saying we'll lose the game all the time I'm not saying that but the performances that's what I'm, I, I keep coming like back you to highlight the, performances. the Wolves game the Wolves game I won 3-0 right and I didn't get his wrong I was chuffed a bit great it was a great win but it was wasn't how I you know we didn't play yeah. it particularly well uh, the Forest game we won away Bruno dragged us through great win again so vulnerable like was it, we yeah. didn't play well you know Luton's conceding four at home Chelsea away just recently there. I appreciate everyone say Chelsea's maybe still a difficult place to go, but we're dreadful again. Like we're, we're not we're not the team that that, 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 that you know, we were missing the three three of the key players at, at the weekend, and we've been missing a lot in a lot of games of the three players that will will drive us and have that intensity of of pushing of closing Mate, down. Yes, so Wilson, Joe Will. Oh my God, Wilson would do it from from the front. Joe Linton's the big one that, that we've massively missed. Even Miggy's not in there, and he'll constantly, you know, put but that, that fit. pressure I, but on Miggy's fit, but, though. Nick but, Pope as well. That, and, but when, Will, when Willock choice. wasn't there, the talk from what was, well, it, oh, God, I get well, we'll miss Willock so much. Willock's back now, and... He's only been back a few weeks no, after. I'm not, I'm not no, I'm not blaming off, Willock, though. Yeah. I'm not blaming Willock, but again, it's as soon as... I reckon if... If let's say Wilson comes back tomorrow, it'll be well. We still haven't got Joe Linton. Well, then then when Joe Linton comes back, well, Tonali's still banned. You know, I just feel like it would just move to another player who's not there. Like, but do you know what I mean? Like when, when I mentioned earlier, Longstaff's only missed twenty minutes between. It was November and the start of February. Let's say, there's that's the reason for that. That's why Longstaff's. And it, I, I agree. I don't. I think not. Job he should be rested now. I would rest Longstaff now because I think that is uh, for Anderson for Willick. I would trust him enough, given that we've got an international break as well coming up. There's a couple of time where you think, right, this is a good time to kind of convalesce if he's going to get something done with his foot. Cause does he be getting painkiller injections? Did I see? I'm not right? yeah. that. sure. Just, it was just rumor. I think Eddie did, did Eddie. In fact, no, I don't think Eddie Howard said that. I think it was one of the journalists. That so, yeah. Said that. yeah. How, how, I was obviously come out to defend him, right? Yeah. Because obviously he's getting a bit. There's just been no, in this, especially in the middle of the park, there's been an Anthony Gordon's played through injury. He was meant oh. to play on Saturday that we were aware of. He, he was when he went down on Monday night. Stunned that he played. I thought well, that's, his, that's his season, that, you know. So there's a lot of lads who've played far more minutes. There was mine, another one, case in point. Um, the same three until Willock came back for so many games this season. And even though we are getting players back, that doesn't mean that the players who are who played all these minutes aren't still knackered. Oh, no, I absolutely like Bruno's agree played, that. we've said Bruno's carried the whole team for months now. He's going to be pig-sick. I think he will, but again, I, I, 
I, it's not Listen, when, when you get like Harvey Barnes back, that doesn't magically make Anthony Gordon not tired anymore and the players around. It, I know, but what, so when when when, when does when are they not tired then? Like, Probably the summer. Because well, that. That's but the, to me, it's to how me, it is because it's, it's it's I still Gordon uh, Barnes out again, so Gordon still having to play. You, if, you if get Gordon, tired getting out of bed, going into the office, playing football manager, I'm not back a, home. I, listen, I, I'm just being honest. Like I, there's a, there's a few times where we've had a break and play, or we've been back on the grass, as a nice saying we keep saying, and then we'll have ten days break, and I still don't see the intensity that I used to see. And I think that's due to belief and confidence. There's something with the players that I just don't feel. I certainly think that's part of it. That, honestly, it's, I don't it's think it's all tired. Like, I just don't believe it. It's, it's the tiredness, the the missing players. Confidence is, is, a, is a massive one. Like, investor, you just been talking there about like games last season. How many games did we draw last season? Oh, this season we're not there. drawing them; we're losing them. Yeah. And again, that that is a mass, massive difference. Where when you're getting. You know, even if it's one point in some games where maybe you haven't played great, but you you're getting a a point and a draw in there, that it's still going to keep that 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 unbeaten run going and keeping that that belief alive and and stuff like that. So it's th- this season has just been a nightmare. No, with I, everything that is that has gone some, on. Some great no, there's moments. been great moments. Some no, great no. moments. Hundred percent. But moments. That's <laughs> I love the key how bit. it's moments. This season's been a nightmare, and I, I don't. I know you're getting that. I'm not. This isn't me having to go at your mark this time. Um. This scene's been a nightmare. What you said there. How many times have we said, God, we'd love to finish mid table with a cup run? We've got the quarterfinal. No, I, mean, I was going no, no, to more again. This is we haven't got yet. Like injury, but it, it has been in that regard. Suspensions and stupid season, things like that. This is the season that we dreamed about yeah. three years. And it, I'm not, this isn't me saying, look where we were. Can't be clever. It's not been a, it's, it's been, there's been stuff this season. I agree with that. I think how's got things wrong at times. I've said a few times, I'll say it every week, the minute, if he had the season again. In the same set of circumstances again, I think there's things he would have done differently right away through. I think you said that, hasn't he? Yeah, has, has he? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I've just said it so often that maybe it's kind of been, <laughs> been manifested. No, no, he's definitely said that. that he would change things. Um, so you know, I, I think he would. I think how's the kind of manager that does. You saw what he did when he left Bournemouth, um, and went away and went gone to Simeone, went to the, the, the various businesses and all that, and said like, I need to learn. And I think he he is quite self reflective, which the previous manager wasn't, although he did apparently want to turn up for work. After all, um, yeah, yeah. he couldn't wait to get to work. Apparently, that's what man, that's <laughs> it now. Champing at the bit, uh, he's not on the door. <laughs> he's like McDonald's bag and that. But um, <laughs> I think, oh god, I was trying to be point a little bit there now. No, but I think it's obviously, to, to your point though is obviously Howe's never managed in Europe as well. He's never had to manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I, I totally understand and get. And I'll also have to come back to the squad. Just isn't very good. It's still it's just not very good. And like, again, it's, it's not. That's where I was going. So why do you expect me to go to Man City and win? I'm not though. This is again. I'm not talking about Saturday necessarily. What I'm saying though is, is that I can't just keep going. We're just tired, and we'll just get the end of the season. We'll be fine. But it's not. I'm not used. That's ridiculous. Reason. That that's just ridiculous. That. If, I'm sorry. If I you're just looking at these cannot. these things as oh well, that's 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 an excuse as to why we lost the game. It's well, it's not. It's it's a a combination of all of these things is what's resulting in us. Being in the situation that we are but, going into games, having having results like this, is an example like, would be sorry, Chris. That's fine. When um, we played Bournemouth at home and the Bravka slipped, yeah, in the second half, he was shocking. And I yeah, like the Bravka, I've, I've I've talked him up on here yeah, for years. You, that that yeah. terrible that, that second half was as bad as I've seen a goalkeeper play for Newcastle. He's pulled it back around, he's playing well again in a minute. But that's off the back of a mistake. Trippy, I made the mistakes at Goodison, he made mistakes at Wolves, Chelsea, Chelsea away, and, and that's. That comes with being tired, with having a lack of confidence, a bit of fear, and it's all it's all come from the same thing. If you know, we had that good start of the season last year, and the lads are going like, "I want to continue goals, yeah, we're doing really well, and things are going better." And you, I get you, confidence, you, momentum. You, you confidence, play, momentum are the, are the biggest things in football. You, 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 I mean, I know you played yourself that way, mm-hmm. and I'm to a far better son than I ever did. But you know, when you're playing well, and you kind of think, "Oh, it's going well," isn't it? And that's the same. Yeah, you get belief, confidence right away. Yeah, players yeah. are a bit more that, every that time touches you, better, and uh, passes are more like that, a bit more zip. And that's just how it was last season. And this season, the injuries have gotten knackered. The Titans have got to make mistakes. The mistakes have knackered the confidence. The players like are playing with a bit more fear now. They haven't got that yeah, confidence. And it's but not it's, being so rational, will you? No, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with anything you've said. But where's the shit house Newcastle gone? Where, where, where's that team? Gone? That's what I mentioned in, yeah. in the WhatsApp group on Saturday. Like, that's just tactically like. It does feel as if I don't kind understand of... how that's just gone. It's, yeah, we've lost our bite. We've lost that. That's what I mean. That that's gone. That, that, that that identity slash shit well, maybe, out maybe that, that, that bite comes were. with with some sort of self confidence and arrogance as well. Well, maybe maybe it does. Maybe it's just because Joe Linton was the one that did it. Or well, and no, Wilson. I... <laughs> it wasn't. That was just well, being. Big drivers of it though. Yeah, they were. 
maybe, maybe it is an arrogant sort of thing. I think, oh, we're, we're, we're basically just winding all these top teams up last season like, like we were, and they were having fun with it. I think you can see now they're not having a fun season. But even then, they were doing yeah. it in Anfield last season in the second game of the season, third game of the season. So it's not as if they had that wonderful, and they lost that much. I mean, contentiously. I, I do well, I think... I've, <coughs> Excuse me. I think it all comes from just being knackered and having the injuries that we've had. Tonali's things hasn't helped us all, obviously, because that when we're talking about who comes in for long stuff, but if Tonali wasn't putting bet, <laughs> what I've got to say allegedly, if Tonali hadn't done what he did, <laughs> no, that's true. He definitely did it. If, if he didn't hadn't done that, then in Italy at least, long stuff either gets a break or isn't playing as much football to start with. So you've got that, not unless you're going in as well, which is likely to be honest with you. But yeah, it's not been a, and it hasn't been. We've got the quarterfinals of two cups with horrible draws in both. Played Man City Stinging. twice, Man United. Um, away draws to Blackburn, Fulham, Sunderland, Chelsea. Uh, that was away as well. Mm -hmm. The Champions League, would, it didn't even then. You look at the groups that Man U finished bottom of their group of Copenhagen, Galatasaray, and Bayern. Oh, Bayern, I mean, like we had PSG who got the final in 2020. Dortmund have won it. They've, they'll go into that stage every year. And um, AC Milan, I mean, AC Milan aren't a team in the world. It's but two quarterfinals now, aren't they? They're still, yeah, they're, they're the two teams from our group in the quarterfinals. So, that you know, these are good sides that we've, and it just hasn't, it, we've fell short. We've done that with the centre half that was our captain in the championship seven seasons ago, starting a lot of games because of injuries. And we've got a centre half playing at left back, which is a centre half back. Um, we've got, <laughs> we've, we've still got a lot of the old guard, the, the players. We talked last year about, um, remember when Dwight Gale played his last game? And he got that round of applause and all that. Like, and he, it was like when Matt Ritchie scored there, he goes, Oh, that's Matt Ritchie, that's great. That, that's like he's that's almost like, like a testimonial for him. Yeah. That's it. And we're still and Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie played, he was playing for with um under Benitez. When Mark used to go in the 70s. When Mark had a bull header here. <laughs> we're still at that point, we're still a transitional team, we're still building. I, I know, I know. We're, we're, I know. It's what we're fine, man. I know. So, so fine. Got... it's not been it's not been much fun to watch over the past few weeks. We're still in the hunt for the top. Eight, which I think gets into the so, so this is the else. next comment which is coming in. If anybody does have any questions, throw them our way. Um, as soon as you can, we'll go through as many as we possibly can tonight. And uh, this one comes in from El Grande Simon, which isn't really a comment, Dagger, but uh, sorry, a question, it's more of a comment. Uh, he says, We're four points off a European place with 10 games left, and we don't have Liverpool, City, Arsenal, or Villa to play. People are going on like we are 19th. I wish we did have Villa. We've bumped them twice this season. <laughs> now, I would say... That's it. Perspective. Your next game is, for me, the biggest there is coming up. West Ham. West Ham, I. They, 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 them are seventh, I believe. Yeah. And we're, we're, I think we're four points behind them. So, if, imagine them did beat well. Imagine the Gani. But if they did, that would be seven points. With only nine games to go. I can't, I can't look at these games, Dick. And, and yes, you, El Grande has took all the, the, the big names out of there. We've Good, been poor well, against some teams mate, that are, are bottom of the I league. Ab I absolutely despise that. Now, I'm going to really contradict myself here, believe it or not, because um, he'll jump on us here. But <laughs> there, there is no easy games in the Premier I don't know why people keep thinking there is easy games in the Premier League. And, no, there isn't. Right. and for example, I'll come back. I still have restless nights about conceding four at home against Luton. Now, your point will be, well, you just said there's no easy games. Well, this is why I can't I can't look at these runner games. We made it at work the day, Brody. You'll be watching. Good, lovely lad. Um, he was saying, Oh, you know, look at this. We've got Brent file, we've got this, we've got that, we've got this. But all of them teams will be fighting to stay up. They will be, right? So they're going to be tough games. You know, I appreciate they're not going to be the quality of Liverpool and City, right? I get that. But looking at our performances at the moment, all I'm just being as honest as I can be is that I don't go into games with the belief that, Oh, I think we'll win the day. I think the That's opposition will be looking at us. Like that, hundred percent, hundred percent. West Ham will not be coming up here. I go. It's, this isn't the St James's part of last year. It's just not. We've conceded forty five goals and we're ten games on. The, we aren't the same team as what we were the year before because we're dead tired and uh, we're playing injured players. Like they'll, they'll not be tired. They'll not be frightened of were they? I wouldn't be. I personally wouldn't be. If I was coming to Newcastle, I wouldn't be scared at all. But why are you scared all. of West Ham? Because they're ahead of us in the league. They're in the semis or the quarterfinals of the Europa League. I think, aren't they? I'm not saying I'm scared of West Ham. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What I I'm think he's more scared of us, of our performance. What, what I'm what I'm saying the West Ham is, fans are going on like they're saying it's the worst season that. The oh, well, the mental mental noise. Mental it's mental noise. To lose the job. Well, so so, job so and... are some of our fans, though. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm not saying. By the way, again, I have to say I am not saying. Well, that's how... It's a two-way street. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's just you're one game. Like you're saying though, but West Ham fans will be saying that. Why aren't we saying that the same that way? Because I haven't got any. I don't have the belief that. What do you think? Will Rock up and beat West Ham neighbour? Yes. 
not near. I Potter. don't believe you think that. No, I don't believe you think that. <laughs> not near. Because Potter. we've got injuries. We're tired. We're but tired, we could be them. Yeah. No, I don't think we'll be. I don't think we near Bother, but <coughs> that last games, I'm not think. That last ten games, I'm not thinking of thirty points here. But mm. I think we're capable of getting enough points to. Well, we're still tenth. We've still yeah, already, I, I, even in the bad run of form, I haven't lost a great many games recently in the league. So, so what's what's a successful end to the season for you, Bestie? Uh, European qualification. Be that. But what what your class is European? Like any European competition? Get in the Conference yeah, yeah. League. Conference League will do me. I'm in the Conference it'll, League. It'll, I, I said at the start of this season, we would finish between sixth and the, the eighth. The Conference and that's League. still very achievable. The Conference League, you only play six games in the group stage rather than eight as well, so straight away. Uh, uh, but we're not going to be in the same position as what we were this tired. season go the, the lads are tired we've got more injuries blah 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 we blah, blah. surely to God cannot have another season like this with well if we've got a medical staff trying Can to it? pop knees back in we might have I mean God that, that is his job Tino would be bang on from the play and he was hurt and he played one started one game I think and he got hurt mm. I mean my Chelsea did kick him out like. the dead but man that was terrible I think was shocking. For, 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 for me as a fan personally I would I would love the conference league just to experience it, I actually think we could probably give it a good go. Yeah, me, me worry is though is for Bruno because I just feel I I don't know if it's enough. Like, I, well, we're not going to get Champions League, but Europa League might be enough to go. Up. Like, oh lads, it's been a tough season, but we've made Europa League. I'm just so scared of losing the Bruno. Bruno like, looks like that. looks frustrated at the end of each game. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I didn't blame. Him. Blame. Like we said earlier on, it's because he's doing the, the, the work of every yeah. single midfielder on that field at the minute. Like yeah. now, obviously, the what you've got been plenty of games be... where we've had to carry him as well. So uh, again, oh, I'm sure to get off my left hand. Well, something else carried him. Well, something else. And, and, him, and, but... and you know, I'm I, how much I love him, but there's there's I, but been games where he players can have off games. Like play, I, I get it, players can have off games, but he's he's, he's carried this midfield since Joe Linton's been missing. He's 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 unbelievable, man. He's unbelievable. He's managing and now still trying. Play with tenacity, but not get booked as well because he knows this booking's coming. Four game, can come four games until he. Like, he's been a lot better no. actually doing that than. Oh, better than I thought he could that. be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's elbowing people before and that's smashing them in the head, getting but carried I think away. He was going it's made him happy. Wild earlier this season, like he was. Got to be careful in them moments. Like. Yeah, but I think, um, listen, you know, I'm going to be positive, right? Um, surprisingly, um, I feel like I got really um, heated there about my whole discussion all night, but like, it's just. I still, it is, listen, we can still finish 7th or 8th to qualify for Europe, which would be brilliant. And I think it's just really important that that's the case because I don't want, if we lose the likes of Bruno or Isak and stuff like that, that's going to that's gonna put us back even further because we haven't got the ability, we have technically, but we haven't got the ability to be able to spend the money, I think, to replace a player like that. If we lost Bruno, I'm not sure who we could get to replace him personally that we could get. It's that one, isn't it? Where if you're selling Bruno, it's going to be for around about 100 million because that's yeah, yeah. Where, near enough where the Big money's money. closed thing is. 100 million pounds, then that gets put over how many, how many seasons of transfer fees for whomever it is that comes in. You might bring in five you great top in, players. The, I mean, the, 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 it gets you three 30 million pound players, but that's shit. Shit. Well, Bruno was what was Bruno? Bruno was probably that. Shit. But mate, he was an exception. You're not getting many players of that standard for that kind of money. Um, you know, like but it, look at what when Tottenham sold Bale and the players they brought in, it just didn't work. Soldado, Gio Lo Celso, mm. um, exactly. Lamella, all, all right players, but the, the they missed Gareth Bale. They were better with Bale than they were with the money. He's been I, spent I, on. I must say, I, I'm interested, obviously, <laughs> given Dan Ashworth's exit and all the rest of it. Well, 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 you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> he's still lingering around somewhere, um, isn't he? I'm just interested to see what. Has targets changed? Has structure changed? Has or is the, whatever whatever was on that bit of paper just continues? That's just a that, blueprint. That's the, that's the list we had. Or is it like now that he's not there, does Eddie have more influence on play, on people that he like? I mean, no offense here, but a lot of the players that I see get linked, and I know it's just paper talk, right? But it is a lot of like, oh, him from Bournemouth on a free at the end of the season, who he likes, and and but that's been the, no, the case no, for stuff. I'm not, I'm not saying that these are bad players. I'm not I'm not trying to say that. But what I'm you know, I mean, and Solanke again linked again. I'm thinking, mm, mm. you know, like fair enough, you know, but like I don't know. Do you know, do you know what I mean by yeah. that? Like it's just a bit, I don't know. And I, I appreciate, and I will try and come back to it where we are. Um, you mentioned the word. What was the word? We are it's like transition. Transitional. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, we're going. We're not going to. Of course, going to be the same top end players. I just think any single team losing Bruno kind of struggle like to replace him. And if if it is a Real Madrid buying him, for example, or a Man City. 
Hang on, we're in trouble. Like. I think well, if, <laughs> even if we qualify for the Champions League, if Real Man City coming from, he's gone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, more... he, he is. I just think that I just think by qualifying for you, we'll have more chance of keeping him. I, I think, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because it's you're able to sell him that ticket a little bit more. That's where players want to play, isn't it? He's what 26, 27 now. Yeah. And he mentions there, as well that he, he's really born yeah, yeah, in the yeah. And I get that. that. He deserves it. Let, let's go through some of the questions. Um, I'm going to come to you, Mark. This is a question who has came from JD88 uh, on Twitter, what you like to refer as X, Mark. Um, he says, Do you think we will finish top half of the table? Yes. Why? Why are you so confident? We are currently to say a top, tenth. top 10 would easily finish in the top 10. Easily. What's easily? Brief. We could finish the season now and would finish 10th. <laughs> so, <laughs> not in fact, we to play the rest of the game first. Not, we want to do yeah, that. That would be I easily. Went, if you just stop the league, league. If you look at the option, I probably would take it. Look, look, <laughs> is there a pandemic coming? Pandemic coming? I know. We are not, <laughs> we're not finishing <laughs> outside of the top 10. But, Mark, you chance. don't think it matters though, anyway, didn't you? Remember about this argument before? Remember you <laughs> bottom half doesn't matter. What does it mean? That doesn't it? Remember oh, hey. two million? Exactly. <laughs> 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 a couple of quid. <laughs> now we we aren't finishing outside the top ten. No, I, I think six, we'll six to eight is still achievable. Next three games, we've got two two winnable games at home. We've got Fulham away. As well, yeah, like I'm, next I'm, I'm not are, as confident as you. Are you I'm, trying to say Fulham are class, man? They're a good side. They are a good, it's good football side. Yeah, but we've beaten them twice this season already. Exactly. So yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just not as confident as you. I think we we Didn't they just smash things think yesterday. A big jump. Well, like, this, is, this is your, your... Well, well, now you're not bloody confident because well, you, just... you think you thought it was the West the worst performance no, you've, you've ever seen in your life. But you've literally just... were against Man City. The you've weekend. literally <laughs> just sat there and went, "Well, I've got West Ham, then we've got Fulham away." Is it Everton at home Tuesday night? Is that away? Is it? Oh, is it oh, home? Yeah. Oh, it's at home. Is it? Two weeks um, time. Yeah, it is at home. And they pulled up pants down early on the season as well. I do think we we always do. I hope we'll have enough time. I mean, we've got we've got different kettle of fish one last season. It's, it's, yeah. it's home. Yeah. Ah, I think you're far too confident from what I've seen. Like, I think we'll finish top ten. Like, I don't think we'll finish top we, ten. Not, not you, you're not going to be shocked if we, if we don't finish top ten, though. Well, given that Chelsea are beneath where I think they could finish above where, but I still think we're better. We're probably better than ten other teams in the league. I would agree with that. So I think I, I think I'd like we're to finish. I think we don't finish eighth or higher. It's a bit of a letdown. It's a bit. That's a bit of. That wasn't what it could have been. Well, to, to be fair, right? If you look at the, Brighton, if you look, Wolves, yeah, Chelsea. Chelsea. If you look at the table, so we're tenth, right, on forty. So you've got Wolves on a uh, on ninth with forty-one. If we look the opposite way, you've got uh, Chelsea in eleventh on thirty-nine, and then Fulham twelfth on thirty-eight. There's not much in it. So, there's, so between there, eighth and what twelfth? There isn't much, much in it. Fulham are good side as well. Not, not, Fulham, I, Fulham are doing well at the moment. I'll, I'll take a draw from Craven Cottage. Like hundred percent, hundred percent. I think that's a good result. Yeah. The, the the team after that's Bournemouth on thirty five, so that's yeah. five points. That that's a that's a. So there's only two dual teams that could, you know, what I mean, it's it's. Uh, but you're in that little mini league, yeah, in, in a sense. Which you'll to be put, fair, is a nice league in there, you know. Well, my night is seven point seven points out of way in sixth. Oh, you got a game in hand in there, Mark? Uh, no, I haven't. We're having West Ham, haven't we? We're having West Ham, though. Yeah. 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 Um, what what I do want to mention just before we we'll, we'll end it tonight, um, mm-hmm. there's been a couple of mentions. Um, we've discussed new stadium loads, so, so we're not going to go back over that. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll probably do another podcast because obviously there's no game um, in the next week in a bit. Um, so we'll, we'll do something about the stadium in, in the upcoming week. Um, there has been a conversation earlier on about the, the, the press conferences. It's changing slightly towards anyhow. There's more questions being asked of Eddie Howe and, and what the tactics are in games, why he's playing certain players, i.e. long staff, blah, 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 blah. Um, there was a journalist. Um, I think it was pre Man City game, I, I can't remember, it was pre or post. Um, but one of the journalists started bringing up influential Twitter accounts saying that there was negativity, um, for, from, from certain influential, oh, influential that, Twitter what, accounts. What? It was so, it was our mate who, who's got a, a special place in, in this room. Up there, um, oh, really? yeah. So I can't remember the journalist had said it. People in the comments, I know I'm not going to say it, but people in the comments will know exactly who I'm referring to. Is this dangerous that journalists are using tweets from fans to throw criticism at Eddie Howe and the players? I think that's where a lot of the noise is coming from. It's coming from social media. If people like the, the overreaction that you see from people on. Facebook groups in on Twitter during the game, after the game, in WhatsApp groups. Like 
God, imagine if journalists had access to some people's chat histories in WhatsApp. That would be quite interesting. You'd be in trouble. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, I do think it's dangerous. But then, you know, if you go back years and years and years gone by when social media wasn't there, it was always watch the noises on the terrorists. Watch, the, you know what I mean? It was, the, 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 there'll always be that fan opinion of what is fans' opinion will always right the front of pink. the queue. If that makes sense, I write that other thing. Blah blah. However, though, I do think it's a nonsense question to bring to bring up in a press conference of a manager. Like about the next game coming up or a post game and go, oh, there's, a, yeah. there's an account on Twitter having a right go at you, mate. What do you so, think? So that? Scott said it, it kind of opens the floodgates. Um, it gets these accounts to try and one up each other online 100%, just yeah. to get some sort of form of mention yep, in a press yeah. conference. And we've seen it a few times for, for this season uh, social media accounts and, and things like that being mentioned in these conferences. There's some stinking accounts on an X slash Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, the, 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 the try to be more explosive or more edgy. Edgy, aggressive, loud to be seen and to be noticed, and I, I, I don't honestly don't think some of that's actually true, really. Mm. If how they really feel, but they'll 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 put it yeah. forward in such a way trying that, to drive engagement. Yeah, that's that's. that's the one. I tell you what, though, right? We, we, any journalist that especially that, counts with blue ticks. Any journalist that may be watching this, right? We will give you fifty quid if you try and get some sort of Toy Story reference in Eddie Howe's next <laughs> press conference, and just say Andy's coming. See if anybody drops on the deck. Yeah. I will not show you. Oh, long stuff you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just a strange one. I, I don't get it. So, um, what, did you know what his response was? Did you see what? Did he hear? I, I think he just backed the teams because I I, uh-huh. I can't remember exactly what it was off the top of my head, but it was basically throwing blame at the players and saying that the players are players are are, are lazy and uninterested. Oh wow! Is that not what you just said? Five minutes <laughs> it's made ago? me burn our account. That yeah, that's yeah, that's. I right. think it, yeah, it, if you're gonna. As a journalist, if you're going to start asking questions from fan accounts, make sure it's a credible, you know, someone who's not just doing it for like, like it's Mark says to push engagement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was you this week. <laughs> I couldn't let that one slide, could I? <laughs> um, because a lot of them are, and, and the one in question, if it's the one I'm thinking of, has been a, a very self-serving account for a long time now. And Various it's all, accounts. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, w- I would rather him ask, why aren't you playing Lewis Hall? Then say, hey, this this account on Twitter, by the way. Who looked decent when he came on? He I, was did, just, I mentioned he did, it, yeah, he did yeah. Decent player for Christ's sake, he's a, he's I, he, a decent he, player. He looked, it was the best I've seen him play for, I think. Maybe, mm. yeah. He's still I, just a young kid, and his time will come, I think. Well, how sad that has he said oh, that right, he's, he's someone who's got a. Oh, well. He's um, that's what he sees having a future at the club and all that. Of course, does. The amount of people I have a chat, but with that can't be go, true because somebody on Twitter said that he wasn't going to sign for it. So people go on Chelsea. People go on that. He's like twenty eight. Yeah, like. I know I appreciate we've loaned him and we're about to sign him. And as you, everyone, even even though I'm asking the question, why aren't you playing him more? I have the knowledge to go, well, actually, he's only 18. Mm. So if he doesn't play much this season, he might play a lot next season. And yeah. he might not play that much next season. But when he's the next year, when he's 19, yes, 20, he might yeah. play a lot then. But as usual, this 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 blink at view of, crikey, it's, we need him on now, this second. And if we don't, he's absolute shite. Absolute it's mental why opinion. That's why I've stopped going on Twitter after the game now. Bit different a uh, opinion on Sean Longstaff because he's useless. And a 50% Sean Longstaff should not be playing Premier League football. Could he play Hall there? This is meant to be a centre midfielder, isn't he? I, I he can't do anywhere. Is that not right? Is that I'm let to believe that's why he is. He is. I left and then he but he got re- uh, re- again. Has he got the discipline to play in that position? Yeah. <laughs> discipline. <laughs> Doesn't mean you would. I, 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 word. I still adapt. cannot believe from you, adapt. You don't discipline. think Miley can do that. Job. I cannot believe that you can sit there in mid- and and don't in, think Miley can do a long stuff. No one likes stepping the boot and a mouth more than I do. But, <laughs> but <laughs> I think of the um the times that we've seen Miley kind of just get sucked in or the forest way it happened, it happened more recently as well, where someone's turned him like 60 yards from goal and all of a sudden we're getting broke on. Maybe in Arsenal, I can't remember exactly now. And that would kind of lend credence to Marks. Seeing that maybe he hasn't got a discipline to do that because that is in itself a lack of discipline by doing that, you know, instead of not sitting off and sitting off and sitting off. But experience could be another word. Yeah, use. I think I, I don't. I think it's it's harsh to to, <laughs> to finger Miley hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for that because he's, is that legal? Yeah. Because he no. He's that, oh yeah, yeah, he's seventeen years old. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Carry on. Um, oh, is he? <clears throat> It depends. It depends. No, man. He's saying, <laughs> carry on. Get the shot. I was not turning here. Yeah. Carry saying, on. Move on. Aye, aye. Um, make sure you cut your fingernails first. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> but 
no, I, I think that I, I think that does maybe kind of suggest a lack of positional awareness, positional discipline. That might like, but but I still would agree. He's saying, he's saying I'm right. I'm, I, no, I'm, I'm saying that you're right. However, I think that Decker's right in saying that Longstaff needs a rest, and that I would trust Miley to do a good enough job. I seen him play in midfield at Paris Saint Germain away, man, and didn't put a foot wrong. It was brilliant that night, man. He, this kid, can, this kid can do whatever, whatever he's telling Longstaff to do. Miley can do that job, no problem. At all, I trust Miley to do a job. I think it's he's not perfect. He could there's a chance that he could get exposed against West Ham. He got Pat Mattel up against him as well, and he's but yeah, a fifty percent. Give, give him two, three I'm years, nice, man. then <laughs> you you're gonna have no doubt about it. But it's just that maturity experience that that comes. Guess with what? You'll never games. know unless you try it. I think we'll see Longstaff play on the weekend. Haven't said that. Hundred percent. Yeah. Not saying I think it's right, but I think I think that that's the rationale. But well, yeah. the, the lads on on that on on international duty there were off to Dubai, I believe it is for yeah, warm, warm weather, weather. training. Yeah. That, that that could help. That that to be fair, that kind of rest getting away will that make them untired? It might do, you know, the sun and that, you know, it might they might have aircon. Like imagine rooms be stifling of a night time if it's just a dry heat. Now, now, what I, the pose the question I will pose to you? Let's see the go away on this sunny, lovely trip and the comeback and the play West Ham, and it's pretty much the same. The intensity is not really there. Is it still tiredness, or do then do you think you've got questions to answer? I think it's still going to be tiredness until I get a good rest. I mean, a, a few days in Dubai isn't going to make it'll make a bit of a difference, but it's not. It's not. It's not going to right the wrongs of months and months and months and months and months of just solidly a lot of time playing twice a week. That's going to that'll be preseason. That's a proper few weeks break. That's not the need. I, I don't think that going to Australia the week after the season finishes is a great idea. Terrible in that idea. regard, I, Terrible idea. Idea. I wasn't a fan of it at all. It's all about money, 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 money. Yeah. It is. Uh, Rumours that it's going to be another uh, American summer series as well. So then they're I just not going to break it all. I don't that as much because yeah, that's, that's just pre season, isn't yeah. it? I mean, it used to be that we'd go to Ireland and play pre season. Now yeah. it's, it's, it's longer flight. That's you the difference. You cannot not do these things in the situation that we are when we massively need to grow our revenue we're, we're over a barrel with ffp we're over a barrel with fitness P- Long time. with psr so we've got to do everything that we possibly can to generate extra cash into the club are you a little bit surprised you three boys that are sitting how tired we are no, are you a little bit surprised that we're now two and a half years into the ownership and we don't have for instance the sports direct signs haven't been replaced with another company's livery by way of sponsorship, like a Saudi company or something like that. Or maybe the training kit hasn't been sponsored yet. Or all of these little kind of ways of getting revenue in. I know we've got like uh, Fly, Fly Saudi stuff and then we've got Noon on the sleeve and on the advertising hordens. But there's, I used to stand, I'm in the very back row in the strawberry yeah, corner. It used to be all the way around. And it was, sports direct was everywhere. I'm not saying I want a company, but it's just strange that we used to be Adidas back there. I mean, going back, maybe, unless mm-hmm. that's what's going to happen next season, maybe as part of that deal. It's just strange that uh, talking about Man U, I was reading a thing that Mark Douglas put in the Independent a few weeks ago where he said that Man U have got, and I mentioned it on here, 50 to 60 odd deals that the Premier League haven't mm-hmm. had to ratify because they're less than a million pound each. So the Premier League yeah. just go, we haven't through any bother. Yeah. And Douglas said that that's what the, the model Newcastle are going to follow. I don't recall, I haven't seen anything since then. And Luke Edwards mentioned, I am. Um, Yesterday, or maybe the day before, that they're looking to get something in. Maybe it's not along those lines, yeah, but tra- big... training. I heard training kit, training kit sponsor. So I did read that. I did read it. Um, but I agree with you. Like the amount of sort of a stake you've got on offer to to yeah. to, to put a sponsor board on. And in fairness, they've the got some ground. They've got some clever brains there that are working. It sounds like night and day to try and generate more money. Um, I mean, Christ, it wasn't bad. Phoenix, bad monster, we had. It felt like that little window of time that yeah. it just seemed to be so many so fast. Yeah, that but I absolutely agree well. with what you're saying. Absolutely. I, I think, do you not think they've maybe just been waiting out for, for the right one to come along rather than just accepting the first one that's a few quid in the pocket? I don't know. I mean, if, if it's been two years now, so you could have got one for a couple of seasons. And I, then... what, what the, I, I've always said this, right? Be it in the transfer market, be it anything in life, strike while iron's hot, and we were never going to be hotter last than season. that last season for last summer. That's when yeah. you strike while the iron's hot. Now, if you go out to your potential sponsorship, buyers and i'm not trying to be negative but you know i know we're still we are newcastle united and blah 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 blah. but you could have went and said we are champions league newcastle united we're finished fourth final of the cup that was your time to make your brand shine and get bigger i thought more yeah. money for sponsorship deals in 
That was the time to strike, I thought. It occurs to me that it's a hard, uh, not a hard sell now, but a harder. I think so. 100%. I think I think you're right about the. I'm not. So, I'm not so shocked yet. that we didn't get the the sponsor on the, the training shirts because we're not that team yet. I don't think. I, I think that'll come with a price to get I a think, sponsor on the training shirt. But we'll, next season, I think you might. We could have pulled a team, any company from Saudi. We yeah. Could have. Yeah. But I think we've used one well, of. Don't you don't think we'll try go over spotlight on you? Yeah, no, no, no. You're not understand what I'm saying. You're not understand what I'm saying. I'm saying we could have. But we used below, if that's what I was about to say, and say like we didn't want to draw unnecessary attention. attention to mm, it. But yeah. we could have done that. And I think if if the spotlight wasn't on where and this whole financial fair play thing wasn't so big in football, crazy man. We would have had a Saudi ball. We would have had a honestly, man, we would have had Saudi water yeah. bottles. I would have been everything would have been sponsored by Saudi. Yeah. Everything. This, this, the name would have been changed to the stadium by now. I'm telling you. But we know we we'll have to cut the cloth accordingly. We've got to be clever. Got to be, be clever. Got to I'm, be clever. I'm just a little bit surprised that. They were so quick to take the Sports Direct stuff down, which I was over the moon with. Still, think I'm, I'm still happy that happened. Um, except it makes it harder to see where I stand at the game now because I used to have the S and oh, that's me. Um, really I, easy I, to miss, aren't you? I, you want to start giving like direct and just honestly, as well. the, the lad, the lad to my left's really tall. I've got Mark, me right, who's pretty tall. I've, I've got all tall boys, like so I, I still disappear into the kind oh, of Bessie. You just go to the back row, in the front row, <laughs> You're on the back row, <laughs> <laughs> basically, like I with the real fans, I see. Um, but I, I was just surprised when the the, the speed with which it came down. I thought, ah, oh, they must have something lined up to. Could there be something written in some sort of contracts to say that we're not allowed to replace those boards until X amount of years Good after? Good there point. wasn't she in breach of contract by taking them down. Any? No, she was in breach of contract by slagging some slagging that off because she went in. She said uh, you yeah, can't yeah. get a decent photo of the stadium because of. Right. And she, she didn't say sports direct, but she said the thing. I love her, but she does open her mouth a lot and yeah. stay oh, things. Bruce's like, situation yeah. is getting on a bit of trouble. She's had to come out and lose a statement. Uh, I'm not saying it's a strange one. Just, she goes into these interviews and, and these talks and things as a businesswoman, and, and it's clear as day she knows what she's talking about. She never seems to prep for it. No. She just says what comes she just from brings it I. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but again, that comes from a lack of experience and discipline in. Oh, he's of... on about discipline again. <laughs> it's what Jordan has her over a barrel all the time for on Talksport. Every time it comes up is when she said, like, because we didn't win the Carabao Cup, and she went, don't worry about it. We're, we're going to win the Champions League. We're going to win the league. Mm. And Jordan always brings that up, going, like, listen, this, this, she just thinks they're going to win this and they're going to win that. And I just think sometimes you have to be a bit clever, right? What you mm. put out there. I was surprised by that. When, well, I was at the day, the, the night of the takeover, when she says, oh, 10 years. Someone asked her the question, in 10 years' time, will they win? And she goes, eh, go on, yeah, why not? Right. She's got, it, it's, it's, she got a bit excited, didn't she? Yeah, which we all did. Yeah. We all thought we were going to do it. <laughs> but, but I mean, you, well, you, you've that's just got to be careful. I know, I know. I know. The I owners know. of the club. Yeah, where, yeah, where yeah. Want I, 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 I like hearing that. To be fair. I like, I like yeah. hearing that. Hey, do you have anything you want to mention before we call this one? Yes, but it would take far too long to discuss it at this time of night. Okay. And well, he needs more discipline. Oh, well, I don't know what it is. And he's tired. He's we'll, tired. We'll, we'll save it. He's we'll been at work twice it. this week. Um, we'll, we'll save it. No, it's only Monday. It's only Monday. We'll I'll tell you what, right? <laughs> lads, um, I'll, I'll let you know. I think this has been the most watched show that we've done live. We currently have 1,602 people watching the live stream at the moment. loads of grief I've now. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so thanks everybody who has been watching live. Uh, if you are watching on what Mark calls X, um, go over to YouTube. <laughs> Until before. <laughs> go over to YouTube um, as well. Like the video on there. Become a subscriber. Uh, we are getting pretty close to 11,000. Um, it seems like ages ago we hit 10,000. We're nearly at 11,000. If we get, we get 11,000, can we get one of them big pizzas to eat? Yes, if we get 11,000, we'll get another huge pizza. Like, not my fish on there. I'm going to put some of that fish on your slice. That sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we'll do as well, uh, we'll see what the plans of everybody else is uh, over the next week because there is no football uh, at the weekend. Uh, but we'll see if we can come up with another show for you. Mainly, like, uh, we could do a question answer or something like that. Go keep our kids. Goalkeeper, God, 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 how long have been threatening oh, that one? Like, yeah. If we get eleven thousand before the end of this week, we'll do the goalkeeper kit. I know I've been bribing us with that for about three years now. <laughs> Can you imagine getting a big pizza at goalkeeper kits? What more do you need? Yeah, I've got more than yeah. yeah. three-hour podcast. That it will no, be. But yeah, but be, uh, become a member. Hungry. Become a member yeah. as well. It is just two ninety-nine a month to do that. Um, it means a lot to ourselves. You do get extra videos. You get early access to videos, and you will be the first to see the return of Mark versus. Decker as well. Um, like I said, that is just two ninety nine a month. If you're listening to the audio as well, uh, just give us a five star review on whatever platform you're listening to, and that'll just do for us. Uh, thanks everybody who has joined us tonight, and we shall see you all next time. Ta-ra. Bye.